Hi guys, this is Kimmy Yangs and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I will be showing you guys how to get 120Hz on the LG 32GK650F when you are gaming on your PlayStation 5. Now, if you have not seen my video of the LG gaming monitor, then you will actually find it in the top right hand side corner. Uh, there is the unboxing and the setup video as well as a first impressions video of the LG 32GK650F. Now essentially this is a 2K monitor with a maximum refresh rate of 144Hz via the display port or the HDMI as is written on the LG user manual. Uh, we all know that the PlayStation 5 is capable of outputting at 120fps with um, a, f a few selection of games as of now and one of those will be Call of Duty Warzone that I will be sampling in this video. Also, uh, to achieve the goal of getting 120Hz, I will be trying to achieve that with the HDMI 2.0 cable as well as with the HDMI 2.1 that I have got plugged in currently on the PlayStation 5. Now, if you are not able to get the desired output in performance mode, as PlayStation 5 puts it, um, there is a fix and that is the EDID 4K emulator by e -Lac. So, will I be needing this? Well, we will know shortly and uh, we will be going through all the combinations available uh, through the PlayStation 5 and uh, see how we can best achieve the desired output of 120Hz on this 2K gaming monitor. So, in the first part of the video, I have actually connected the HDMI 2.0 to my gaming monitor as well as to my PlayStation 5 and we will try to see what best uh, refresh rate we can achieve in performance mode on the LG gaming monitor. So the HDMI 2.0 is connected and all we have to do first is go into the game screen and first actually check what is the current resolution that the PlayStation 5 is outputting at. So you go into systems, you go into settings and then you go down to screen and video and if I were to go into the video output information, you've got the 4K resolution at 60 hertz. This is also confirmed by going down into the settings here and it shows up on the information. So there you can see it, it's at 60 hertz and 4K resolution. Right, so that being said, um, we go back into the game itself, uh, sorry, uh, we actually scroll down into the save data and game app settings, apologies for that, and go down to game presets and now we can see there are actually three options, normally uh, the PlayStation 5 keeps it on game default but I have now put it into performance mode, we also have resolution mode but performance mode is what we are looking at if we are to achieve the 120Hz output and then we go into the game itself that's warzone and see what kind of resolution we get with the game in performance mode here we are in game and uh, if i were to go down into the settings again and see what is the resolution that it's outputting at it still shows me 4k at 60 hertz and uh, if i were to go back into the game now and check also on my lg monitor itself it still shows me 60 hertz 4k resolution so uh, the our first finding is that on the hdmi 2.0 on uh, the normal connection, the LG 32GK650F is not able to achieve 120Hz. So now I've exited the game and I'm going back into my settings, going down into screen and video and I'm going to change the resolution to 1080p. This is basically to see if I can achieve the 120Hz output that I'm hoping for on full hd instead of 4k go down to minus 2 and 
yeah anyways the hd uh, the 120 hertz output is enabled once this is done we go back to system go down to hdmi and we actually disable hdcp and see what kind of effect it brings to our performance mode in the game itself so now we go back into the game fire it up and let's see if we actually achieve 120 hertz on warzone so as you guys can see it's still outputting at 60 hertz and this time it's on full hd so from what we've seen we've understood that the hdmi 2.0 cable on the lg32 gk650 f is not able to output 130 hertz, 120 hertz either on 4k or on full hd so the next step now is to try with the edid emulator and see if we are able to achieve the desired result so now i am actually going to be connecting this edid emulator by evanlac into the hdmi slot and then the other end of the hdmi 2.0 cable will go into this port and let's see if we actually get any video output the edid emulator is now connected to the hdmi port of the lg32 gk 650f and the other end of the hdmi 2.0 is going into the port of the emulator and as you guys can see the signal is still alive and well and let's go into the settings and quickly check the resolution that we are on currently so screen and video video output information still says 4k 60 hertz i am actually going to be changing the resolution again to oh, or actually let's let's try with uh, the emulator if you are able to achieve 120 hertz in uh, performance mode on warzone right so open the game up again oh we are actually getting 120 hertz this is brilliant so if i were to take you guys down there you can see it is switched over to full hd at 120 hertz on the edid emulator with hdmi 2.0 now that is interesting and now if i were to go back into the video information of the playstation 5 this is where things get really interesting because on the screen and video you will there see 1920 by 1080 120 hertz so with the edid emulator on the hdmi 2.0 we have achieved 120 hertz on full hd not on 4k but i think that should suffice because uh, the ps5 is now able to output at almost its full at, uh, full potential on a 2k monitor so now we have connected our hdmi 2.1 cable to the playstation 5 down there and uh, let's get back to our screen navigate to the settings which is right there go down into the screen and video information change the resolution to automatic which should bring it up to 4k 60 hertz there you go switch back the 4k transfer rate to automatic uh, go back into system go down to hdmi and enable hdcp i'll actually show you guys how to achieve full hd on at 120 hertz on the hdmi 2.1 cable as well and uh, what steps you need to take to achieve that uh, anyways going back into call of duty warzone and now you can see it's still on 4k 60 hertz so even on performance mode with the hdmi 2.1 cable we are stuck at 4k and 60 hertz now time to switch over to uh, full hd and see if we are able to achieve 120 hertz on performance mode without the edid emulator so all we have to go down and do is going to screen and video select resolution select 1080p the 4k video transfer rate 
is actually you set it to minus 2 so that it's at a preset and uh, the system is not searching for you know the appropriate setting go back up into the system in HDMI disable HDCP because this can actually hamper your video output you can actually see a difference in the resolution and uh, we are now at full HD and 60 Hertz if I were to start the game are we able to achieve 120 Hertz now and the answer is no we are not so we are still stuck on 60 Hertz and this time it's on full HD resolution so that means even on the HDMI 2.1 cable you will require the EDID emulator so now I have connected the EDID emulator to the 2k monitor and we've got the HDMI 2.1 cable connected to it but unfortunately contrary to what I'd hoped for we are not getting any signal whatsoever everything else is perfectly attached as you guys can see there is no loose connection whatsoever but we don't have any signal which basically means that I would need to use the emulator not on the monitor side but on the PlayStation 5 side if I were to game on the HDMI 2.1 cable okay so now I have got my EDID emulator connected to the PlayStation 5 ports HDMI let's just ensure it doesn't fall off the surface there and here we have our signal backup so uh, it's a bit more cumbersome to achieve what we want to achieve on the with the HDMI 2.1 cable than the 2.0 anyways going back into the settings and now going to screen and video the video output information still shows 4k 60 Hertz now as I said that in order to achieve 120 Hertz on full HD and not on 4k because this is a 2k monitor so at best it can convert the video to a 4k 60 Hertz what we will need to do is go back into resolution select 1080p and the 4k video transfer rate we change that to minus 2 HDR is off 120 Hertz is default enabled and we go back into system HDMI and the HDCP is already switched off so that is one of the most important things go back into war zone start the game then there you go there you have the 120 Hertz information right there it's on full HD at 120 Hertz on Call of Duty Warzone which is a 120 Hertz compatible game on the PlayStation 5 if I were to check the output resolution in the PlayStation 5 console settings then there you go full HD 120 Hertz on the HDMI 2.1 cable with the EDID emulator why do we need an EDID emulator to achieve 120 Hertz output on a 2k gaming monitor with the PlayStation 5 well the answer is a bit complex the PlayStation 5 supports 120 Hertz on TV HDMI output and not on VESA the LG GK 2K uh, the LG 32 GK 650F is a 2k gaming monitor that is VESA compatible 100 by 100 hence it is unable to get in sync with the PlayStation 5 and give you the 120 Hertz output that you're hoping for on full HD since it's a 2k at best it can convert the video signal to a 4k 60 Hertz and it can never really hit 120 Hertz for that you would need a dedicated 4k 144 or higher Hertz monitor now a very important point I need to make here because I made this mistake about a year back when I purchased this uh, gaming monitor was that I was not of course aware that there was a PlayStation 5 coming out soon and uh, also I was not aware that VESA compatibility and TV HDMI compatibility are two different things so please be mindful of that before you make a purchase of a gaming monitor for your PlayStation 5 well if you're not looking for something as small as a 32 inch like I was for my racing setup then you can most definitely go in for a TV that is HDMI 2.1 compatible and that can easily give you your 120 Hertz output be it on full HD 
or on 4K. But if you are looking for a gaming monitor, then please uh, do study the specifics of the HDMI compatibilities and then make your purchase decision. Also remember that in the market currently there are 2K monitors that can output 120Hz on the PlayStation 5 on Full HD without the need of having an emulator like this. One monitor that I can remember immediately is the BenQ 2780Q which is capable of outputting on Full HD at 120Hz without the need of an emulator. In fact the list is is there on many of the reviewer websites and technical and tech websites so do your googling before you make that purchase decision before i forget i just wanted to show you guys that this is the edid emulator that you should be looking at because there are multiple options available on amazon and you should not end up ordering the wrong one so this is the 4k ultra hd e van lac edid emulator that you need to be looking at um, I've actually purchased the 3 emulator set because longer hours of gaming this tends to get a bit hot so you can always swap one out for the other and ensure that comfortable temperatures are maintained on your gaming monitor. The emulator is currently not available in India so you would need to order it from the Amazon US or Amazon UAE websites. Amazon UAE does ship to India. I'm not sure about the US for now. I actually got it through a friend. In fact, uh, the admin of our Discord server. So, big thanks to him for this. Do look it up online and remember to get the right emulator for your for your gaming needs. So, this brings me to the end of how to achieve 120 hertz output on the LG 32 GK 650F on the PlayStation 5 with the EVANLAC EDID emulator. I hope I've been able to cover all the combinations that are on offer for LG monitor owners like me if we are to achieve 120 hertz output on full HD at least not on 4K for now this is what we are going to need and this nifty piece of device addresses all our concerns when it comes to the higher refresh rates requirement. Before I sign off, if you guys are on Discord and uh, if you already have a PlayStation or if you are looking for one, then please do join the PlayStation India Discord server. One of our notification bots will help you get either the PlayStation or the Xbox consoles. Also, we have notifier bots for the colored controllers by Sony for the PlayStation 5. If you do have a console, then uh, you can definitely connect with the 4000 plus gaming community there. Anyways guys, uh, this is Kimmy Yanks signing off. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And hopefully I can keep bringing you guys some good content through the coming weeks. Take care guys, enjoy your gaming and God bless you.